Bank regulation, in particular capital regulation, is a perennial issue. The idea is basically to have, um, to have models that allow regulators, policymakers, to do real-time policy experiments before actually implementing them in practice. The intention of regulation is to make uh, banks safer, uh, which means um, minimizing the potential cost to the taxpayer in a potential bank failure. At the same time, by trying to make banks too safe, um, you may cause problems to the economy by reducing lending. So there may be alternative policy instruments to use where they have more or less impact on both bank safety and actual credit extension by banks. Our research is joint work with uh, Alex Mihailidis from Imperial College uh, London and uh, Johan Mankart from the Deutsche Bundesbank. And basically we try to see how these alternative policy instruments interact uh, in a dynamic model of, of banking where um, we were able to experiment with uh, different policies and see um, whether there are unintended consequences of bank regulation. The main finding is that policies, uh, regulatory policies that affect bank profitability, they affect also bank incentives to hold uh, capital, to accumulate capital and create a buffer of safety above the regulatory minimum. So there may be policies that actually induce banks to to sail too close to the wind, too close to the regulatory buffers. It turns out in our analysis that a tighter leverage requirement is a policy with the least unintended consequences. In fact, we find that a tighter leverage constraint um, uh, helps banks to become safer at the same time as uh, uh, facilitating um, lending to the economy. Uh, one example is uh, a tightening of leverage requirement by 1% leads to approximately 2% increase in aggregate lending to the economy. The policy implications that a plain leverage requirement, which is a plain ratio of total assets over equity, is an appropriate um, a policy instrument to tighten um, if uh, regulators feel that they have to raise capital requirements to banks. This is because it makes banks safer and on the other, si on the other hand it does not distort lending to the economy. Of the two, leverage requirement, uh, uh, tightening leverage requirements seems to be a safer, uh, better policy than tightening risk-weighted capital requirements.